So today I'm talking about a P0201 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0201 code? Well, it's an ejector circuit open cylinder one. And so what does this mean? Well, basically each cylinder on the engine has a fuel injector that's injecting fuel into the cylinder. But when you get this P0201 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem with one of these injectors, mainly on cylinder one. If you got a P0202 code, that'd be cylinder number two, P0203, that'd be cylinder number three, and so on and so on. So if you go Google your engine and cylinder location on your particular engine, since there is differences, and you find cylinder number one, then that's going to be the cylinder to go take a look at. So when you get this P0201 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem with the fuel injector on cylinder number one or the wiring going to it, and so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0201 code? Well, the main things that's going to cause this is that either the fuel injector on cylinder number one has gone bad or there's some kind of wiring issue going on. And so there's a few different ways you go about troubleshooting this. One way to go and do it is go test the fuel injector on cylinder number one and be sure that it's good. And then if it's good, you could go and check the wiring. Because these fuel injectors have a small little coil inside of there that every single time voltage goes to it, it energizes it and it pulls on a magnet, which lets fuel go into the cylinders. So if you have a multimeter, you can go check that coil and be sure that it's not open and that it has the correct ohms. Basically, you could go check it, be sure it's not open. If it is open, then you know it's bad. You can also look up what the ohms are for that specific vehicle, for that specific engine, since again, there are differences. But if you can find the rated ohms for those injectors, you could test them. And if it's outside of that, then you know it's bad. And of course, if it's open, then you know it's bad too. But the first thing to go and do is test that fuel injector on cylinder number one and be sure it's good. If for some reason you don't know what the rated ohm should be, you can also go through and check what the other ones are and see if it's different. Some people also swap out the fuel injector with another cylinder and see if the problem follows. But the first thing to go and do is test that fuel injector on cylinder number one and be sure it's working. The next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to that fuel injector on cylinder number one. If there's anything wrong inside the wiring, like an open, a short, there's a bad connection, something like this, then that's going to cause problems. So you can get a multimeter, you can't go and check the wiring to be sure there's no open or short going on inside of there. If you do go to check the wiring, it's a good idea to get schematics for your particular vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on, where the wires are going, different things like this. But basically, if that fuel injector is good and there's no problems with it, then most likely there is a wiring issue. There is something going on inside that wiring because the next thing that could cause this is a wiring issue. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0201 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. This video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.